In this unit, we are going to define stateless agents out of ports. So we are going to build abstractions to define agents. And agents will be things that will receive messages and will respond to these messages. But the agent do not have any state. It just excludes what the message wants it to be performed. Okay. So as a, an example, we would like to define a mass agent. And what is a mass agent? We'll see that later, but it's going to execute the following procedure. Whenever it receives a message M, it looks to the message and it performs an arithmetic operation. The arithmetic operation could be an add and returns the result of the addition by binding the, the data flow variable A. And if it can do a multiply, it can do integration and so on. So the agent just corresponds to messages and messages are a form of commands to do some action. So here is our trial to do that. We're going to produce an agent. We create uh, a port, MP, with an associated stream. And then we define a procedure. The procedure is mass. We call it mass process. It will look to the elements of the stream. And for each element of the stream, it will apply the mass procedure and recurses again on the rest of the stream. And then we basically create a thread that does the computation. So the thread now is a thread looking to the stream and performing mass operations on each element of the stream. You can observe that we can now use an abstraction instead of using the recursive procedure. For example, we know we can define a for all abstraction. It is a procedure, a higher order procedure that takes a stream and another procedure. And it applies P on all the elements of the stream. P is one argument procedure. So if the stream is empty, it just to skip, does nothing. Otherwise, it would apply P on the first element and then applies P on the remaining element. This is a theory procedure, so it's really an iterative computation. And we call P in all elements of the stream. That's what this does. So now we can define our mass process. This is M. Our mass process just takes the mass procedure and apply it on all elements of the stream MS. And here we use the for all abstraction. So here is our agent now. Our agent, we create a port. So the port identifies the agent. And then we create a thread. And that thread applies the mass procedure in each element of that stream. That's a for all. We can write it in a more traditional way by using uh, the for statement, which is a syntactic sugar for for all procedure. So for each element M in the stream, apply mass on M. So, so now we are in a point where we can define an abstraction for agents. We call it new agent zero. The new agent zero takes the one argument procedure. We call it here a process. And it creates an agent. An agent will apply that process in each element of the stream. And here is our definition. So locally, we define a port and the stream. So this is stream is invisible outside the definition of this function. We create a port here. And we return the port as the identifier for our agent. And inside this procedure, we spawn a thread that applies process in all elements of the stream. Another way of writing it, of course, is to use the for all statement. So this is exactly the same as before, except now we are here using the for all statement. Hmm. So actually, we created an Asian abstraction. This Asian abstraction uh, can give us Asian that capture communicating entities, entities that can communicate together through message passing. What we just give, we give to each agent its specialized actions in a form of one argument procedure. 
So each agent simply is defined in term how it replies to messages. So in this system, we can organize our software as a set of agents. Each agent has a, a thread of its own. Concurrency is, is clear, it's just through message passing. No shared memory and no shared state. And we can easily extend the model to have agents that have state. And that we are going to do it later in this lecture. This is very extremely useful for modeling system as we will see also in this lecture. In summary, we had one new entity in the language and one new construct. It's called ports. Port uses streams as mailboxes and ports serve as unique address of, of uh, an agent. We defined an agent abstraction that combines port with a thread running the agent. And it's a very simple model of concurrency. This model of concurrency is the model used in some normally commonly used language like uh, Scala and Erlang. Um, of course, these have introduced non-determinism, as we said before. And we will see also it introduced the notion of state state that we didn't have in a functional framework.